The UK and Netherlands prepare to vote tomorrow. What can we expect? Hey, good morning, uh, Nero. Will the two vote tomorrow? The timing of the election for the United Kingdom, very strange. You have the Prime Minister who still says she can deliver Brexit. She's promising to do this, has put a new offer on the table. But the reality is, three years after the referendum result, Great Britain will vote in a European election and will elect new members of parliament. This is an election that's very closely watched in Brussels. They do want to see whether Nigel Farage does well or not in the election and what the Brexit party does. The big concern for many in Brussels, which was really just look at the election as a legal necessity, is whether or not we see that surge in nationalists and populists that could potentially block legislation at a time where the European Union really needs reform across so many areas. Maria, good to see you. So what does Brussels think about Theresa May's new offer? Dead woman walking or opportunity? Well, man, it's two things on this. One, they do think here still in Brussels that it's very unlikely the deal will go through given the reaction that we had yesterday out of the UK. Then two, the official line is still very much that this is a done deal. The extension to that Brexit deadline does not mean renegotiation, but actually there is a very real concern that we could see Prime Minister May go, and that obviously brings a big question mark as to mm -hmm. what happens to the Barnier deal, and will the new Prime Minister, that hypothetical new Prime Minister, feel that he or she needs to stick with the deal and of course the big question is what happens to the October deadline.